everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back in the utility room doing foam again for another day. You can see I've been working over here, I got pretty far over in that direction. We can only go up to about here because we have to leave this area clear for doing electrical wiring. So I'm pretty much done in this area. Uh, this morning, in addition to doing the walls, I also did some insulation on the pipes. You'll notice that I've got both the, uh, the cold and the hot water pipes insulated, uh, and there's two different reasons for doing both of those. Insulating the hot water pipe, obviously, uh, you know, if you're getting hot water from your water heater, is it's traveling over to wherever you're going to use it, in this case the kitchen sink, it's going to be hotter by the time it gets to the other end if it's not losing heat as it goes through the pipe. Uh, additional to that, it's going through an environment that I talked about yesterday, I want to keep cool, this is the pantry and it's kind of counterproductive to be running hot water and venting that heat out into an environment that you want to keep cool, so that's a, another reason for insulating the hot water. But the cold water pipe is a completely different reason for insulating that. It's not because I want to have, you know, super cold, crisp water at the tap, though that's kind of nice. The big reason I'm doing it is I live in New England. It's always like hot and humid here in the summer. Humidity and moisture is a big New England thing. I know it's a big thing in a lot of parts of the world, and it's definitely not a thing in uh, many parts of the world, and people struggle with that. But here, what we struggle with is having too much humidity oftentimes. And what humidity does on pipes when you have nice cold water running through is it condenses like, you know, uh, water droplets on a cold drink that you might have outside, and that runs down the pipes, drips on the floor, gets into the boards, can rot things out. It's a problem. So I'm insulating both of those because I want to restrict the humid air's access to the, uh, the pipe so that we're not going to get that. I'm only insulating certain areas because parts of this I still have to keep open. There's a massive leak in this uh, right here. If I were to open up this valve right here, this thing would start spraying everywhere. Uh, the plumber has a leak here, uh, a huge leak here, uh, kind of a minor intermittent leak over there and then a, a small leak. Uh, there may be other things I haven't tested everything out yet, but uh, uh, I have several several communications and not calls. Uh, the plumber, if you guys recall, recently said that he doesn't honor any of his word unless it's in writing. Uh, so I'm just communicating with them explicitly through writing, uh, I'm sorry, exclusively through writing at this point. Uh, not getting explicit <laughs> at this point. Uh, and uh, I'm not hearing back from this. In several weeks, I've got lots of communications in with them. Essentially just saying, uh, you know, they said they wanted me to give them the full uh, amount of money for the entire job, even though we removed a bunch of pieces of the job. And my position is on that is that, well, if we're removing parts off the job and the whole uh, verbal discussion on that was if we remove pieces off the job, it'll bring the cost down. Uh, then the cost should come down. Uh, they're saying that, you know, they're removing parts off the job and they want to keep the price the same. Uh, I guess uh, I'm fine with that as long as we go back to, like they say, whatever's on paper, whatever's in the contract. You know, if we add all those extra things back in, you know, I, I don't really need them, but it's nice to have them. Uh, that's my, what I'm saying with them is like, if you don't, if you don't want me to get a discount off the thing, well, why don't you just give me what you actually said you'd give me in the contract? I haven't heard back from them uh, yet. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be a problem or if they're just busy. I'm hoping that um, the next communication I hear back from them is just going to be like, oh yeah, I guess we did remove a lot, a lot. Let's take some amount off. You know, whatever's fair. Zero is not fair. Something more than that is. So uh, that, that's where things are with them. If it goes too long, though, uh, before we can move in, we're going to have to have all this stuff inspected. This thing's spraying. I'm going to have to hire another plumber to come. Or I could probably do it myself. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to just avoid that. I'd like them to just come in and finish their own job so I don't have to be like telling them, well, I paid some other, someone else to do your job, so that's going to come off your thing. It's going to just turn into a whole mess. So I'm hoping that they will just, you know, be an adult and, you know, not be a child about the whole thing. You do less work, you get less money. That's just... Good. It seems obvious to you and me, but not to everybody. So anyway, that's where things are today. Insulating, avoiding some areas where there's still problems because the plumber didn't know how to plumb pipes together. Uh, and uh, once I'm done with this, gosh, I don't know. What's next? We'll see tomorrow where I am. Hopefully not here. That's it. Thanks for watching.